this is an application that gets us allows us to be more familiar with the geometrics as we've seen with other random variables um, we have the the plot here and then we sort of have the parameter uh, bar so we can we can change the only parameter p and then we can as we've seen change the number of draws and as we've seen we're going to start it at a thousand just so we have sort of a nice full graph and we can hit go to kind of generate uh, new graphs so the geometric recall that the story is we're waiting for a success so we're counting the number of failures until a success and we allow this parameter p uh, to be the probability of a success on any trial. We say that trials are, are independent. So in this case, um, you can think of this as flipping a fair coin, right, because p is one half, and waiting, counting the number of failures or tails until we flip ahead. So you can think of it like that. It makes sense that this is kind of centered around, you know, one, it's close to zero. It's probably zero a lot, right? It's zero half the time because we flip uh, uh, heads right away. Uh, half the time, and then it's also close to one, so that, that makes sense. And it also um, helps to think about what will happen as we increase or decrease p. So as we increase p, right, you might think we increase p, this should go up, but actually when we increase p, that means the probability of success in each trial is higher, which means we're going to expect less failures before we see a success. So pay attention to this x-axis here. Right now we have, we go from like, it's, it's pretty much all within zero to four. If we raise p up to like 0.86, we see most of it now, nearly all of it is between zero and one, or you know, yeah, zero or one, whereas kind of before we had, it was a little more spread out, right? There's, there's a good amount over one, or yeah, over two. Um, whereas we bring it all the way up, you know, bring it up to like 0.92, it's nearly everything is zero, right? 92% of the time this is zero. Um, so if we decrease P, if we go the opposite direction, so let's minimize P, now all of a sudden we have these huge values, right? We have all the way up to 400, which makes sense because successes are rarer, they have lower probability, um, so we expect more failures before we see successes. And as usual, so let's bring P to a more neutral value. As usual, if you decrease the number of draws, you're going to see sort of a sample variation because we have a small sample size. But otherwise, just a good way to sort of get intuition on the geometric distribution and how it changes with the parameter P, because that can be tricky. It can, they kind of go in opposite directions, as we saw.